You won't believe there are places in the world where wives can be exchanged to sleep with each other, and countries where women outnumber men to the extent that a man can marry three or four wives. These are countries like Latvia, Ukraine, Brazil, and Hungary. Join me in exploring 15 places that are heaven for men because there are so many women who are extremely open-minded and attractive. Number 15, Eskimos. Can you believe there is a place in the world where you can sleep with your spouse's wife comfortably? Please comment on your thoughts regarding Eskimos, where wife swapping is quite normal. Eskimo women in Chukotka, an autonomous district of the Russian Federation, and Alaska in the United States are willing to sleep with strangers with the consent of their husbands to show hospitality. During the time they are hired, the woman needs to fulfill all the needs of the person hiring. This tradition has been around since ancient times and continues today not because of misplaced desire, but because of the harsh conditions of nature. Women give birth to many children but, not all of them survive in this place. Due to many close blood relationships, many children born are weak and die prematurely. Additionally, the harsh weather conditions with temperatures sometimes dropping to minus 30 to minus 40 degrees Celsius and inadequate nutrition make it difficult to nurture a child. Therefore, the birth of many children becomes a common joy for the whole community. Furthermore, for Eskimos, marriage is not only a personal matter, but also has a larger social significance. Wife exchange within the tribe is often seen as an expression of social harmony and community cohesion, because Inuit society is characterized by communal living, where cooperation and interdependence between individuals and families are highly valued. Wife exchange serves as a means to strengthen social relationships and reinforce alliances between families or clans. Number 14. Latvia. Two decades after Latvia broke free from the grip of Soviet communism, women in this country are increasingly outnumbering men and have more opportunities to express themselves. Women in Latvia are better educated and less likely to die young. The number of women outweighs men, and the phenomenon of being single is common even for beautiful girls. According to statistics, Latvia is the EU country with the highest proportion of women to men. Women outnumber men by up to 177%. Additionally, the mortality rate among men here is extremely high, with up to 2 to 3 people dying per day. This means that many women find it difficult to find a partner. The deep-rooted cause of this situation dates back to World War II when many men in Latvia were sent to the battlefield, leaving only women behind. As the war expanded, many men died, and this imbalance has not been rectified. Furthermore, another serious reason is that Latvian men tend to suffer from severe depression due to life pressures, especially financial burdens. Latvian girls excel in beauty compared to neighboring countries. Just stepping out on the streets of Latvia, you can easily encounter tall, beautiful girls with hot body figures. However, Due to the disproportionately low male ratio, many women in Latvia still find themselves in the situation of being spinsters. To address this situation, in recent years, many dating websites and international matchmaking centers have developed extensively, providing opportunities for Latvian women to choose husbands more freely. The rush of women from this country to marry foreigners is understandable. In fact, there are Latvian civil organizations that have called for the implementation of the 10 women to one husband policy, hoping to legalize this system. What do you think about the situation in this country? Please comment and let me know. Number 13, Yunnan Province, China. Can you believe that there is a place in the world where there is a festival for touching women's breasts? After watching, please let me know what you think about this situation. The Breast Touching Festival is a traditional cultural feature of the Dai ethnic minority in Yunnan Province, China. Every year from the 14th to the 16th day of the 5th lunar month, everyone, both men and women, must comply with the regulations of the Breast Touching Festival. When going out on the streets, everyone believes that touching and being touched will bring great luck to themselves. According to customs, single boys and girls gather on the streets to participate in the festival and find partners. When they find someone they like, the two will hold hands and go to the pine forest on the mountain and do what everyone knows. Nowadays, most people, including tourists who come here, can freely touch a girl's breasts for luck if they meet someone they like on the street. The girls are not angry about this. On the contrary, they feel happy. During these three days, 
Girls only wear clothes covering one side of their breasts, leaving the other side exposed. Does anyone want to hear this news and fly to China to attend this festival? Please comment and let me know. Number 12. Estonia. Like other Eastern European countries on this list, Estonia is still suffering the consequences of participating in World War II, along with a host of community health issues related to excessive alcohol consumption and smoking. An average Estonian man consumes 17 and a half liters of alcohol per year, double that of women. Estonia also has one of the highest suicide rates in Europe, with about 12.2 per 100,000 people. Estonian men leave life nearly five times more than Estonian women. Nearly 11,000 people leave Estonia each year to settle permanently in other countries or work temporarily. Most of these migrants are men seeking better economic prospects, therefore women remaining in Estonia are plentiful. There is even an island in Estonia where only women live, and it is rare to see men there. Estonia is the country of beautiful girls with blonde hair and captivating blue eyes. In this Baltic country in Eastern Europe, there are many beautiful but lonely girls, so you can come here to explore. What do you think about the women of this country? Please leave a comment. Number 11. Japan. Japan is also a country with more women than men. Upon initial contact women are extremely shy and reserved but they are also very attractive and dress provocatively. Women here mainly wear short skirts as school uniforms even in colder months. Additionally women here are very obedient to their men and must adhere to male authority. In fact the birth rate is declining because fewer couples are having children. The youth in this country increasingly prefer less serious and binding relationships. If you take the initiative with Japanese girls, you will win their hearts. Even in this country, there are bars where everyone is naked, there's nothing to be ashamed of in Japan. So if you like these things you might even consider moving to Japan. Number 10. Kazakhstan. The country of Kazakhstan in Central Asia not only has beautiful natural landscapes, but it is also the land of beauties, with many women possessing Eastern beauty combined with Western features. Kazakh women have black hair, distinctive golden skin, and plump lips, easily captivating men with their unique beauty. Additionally there are also hot and liberal white girls with blonde hair and blue eyes on the streets. Kazakh women are sweet, feminine, and seductive. They know how to dress and do makeup to enhance their natural beauty. The physique of Kazakh women is both slender and beautifully curved. Moreover women in this country are highly educated, with a large proportion holding university degrees. Not only do they have beautiful appearances, but Kazakh girls are also very friendly, hospitable, and easy to get acquainted with. During the past wars this country lost about 400,000 men so currently Kazakhstan has more women than men. The social phenomenon of too many women renders the monogamous system meaningless, with many families experiencing polygamy. It's normal for many men to have three to four wives and even divorcing without a dowry is common in some areas, where just a cow can be enough to part ways with single life. Number 9. Ukraine. With the current situation in Ukraine as the war continues fiercely and casualties increase, the gender gap may widen even further. In fact, the low number of men has long been a problem, even before the current war with Russia began. The reason is that World War II devastated the male population of Ukraine to the extent that it has not recovered to pre-1941 levels. If the war between Russia and Ukraine continues, women in this country will still outnumber men. What do you think about Ukrainian women? I have to say they are overly beautiful and wonderful. Ukraine is ranked among the top countries with the most beautiful women, second in the world. Proven over time the most seductive women in Ukraine are partly due to the Slavic race possessing ethereal and extremely attractive beauty. Ukraine is a leading exporter of beauty as many women in this country seek out fashion capitals or migrate to other countries to live and work on the international runway. Many famous models come from Ukraine like Dasha Ponomarenko, Zoe Maffa and Kristina Abula. Many beauty queens also come from Ukraine and they all have hot bodies and captivating beauty. Yet. These girls are now extremely lonely, as it's difficult to find a boyfriend due to the low male ratio in this country. Because of this, many Ukrainian girls have gone abroad to find a life partner. What do you think about the gender imbalance in Ukraine? Do you want to get to know these girls? Please leave a comment below. Number 8. Hungary. Hungary is a country located in Europe with a higher ratio of women to men. 
The reason is that during World War II many men from this country went to war, leading to an increasingly scarce number of men, while women continued to increase. Women in Hungary are extremely beautiful, with many winning world beauty titles. Throughout Hungary there are many natural hot springs attracting both men and women to visit, especially in the capital, Budapest, there is a thermal bath complex built openly outdoors 50 meters long and constructed since 1927. This pool is for both men and women with tourists and locals alike so you can comfortably come here to admire the beautiful girls and enjoy a fun day. Moreover, Hungarian women are famous for their romance and fiery personalities, contributing to creating excitement and surprises in relationships. They are also always ready to explore and do many new things just to please their partners through various activities. Number 7 Drop a Tribe India You wouldn't believe this place is real. In this tribe men can freely exchange wives. The people of the Dropa tribe live in small villages in the Ladakh region, amidst the disputed area between India and Pakistan. The Dropa tribe has a population of about 2,500 people living along the Indus River in the Jammu and Kashmir region of northern India, with quite strange traditional cultural features. Since ancient times the Dropa people have had the tradition of marrying among the crowd and freely swapping wives without affecting relationships in the tribe. Many groups of men and women stand in line and kiss each other naturally and passionately, without caring about their own or their partner's marital status. Older brothers can share wives with younger brothers to avoid property division. The women in this tribe are quite tall, with attractive faces, large bright eyes, plump lips, straight noses and thick eyebrows that are easy to distinguish. Therefore, to maintain the pure bloodline of their tribe, they do not marry outside. So if any tourists want to come here to get married, they can forget about it. Number 6. Dongguan City, China. Can you believe that in some places in the world having three girlfriends is normal? A man from Dongguan City, Guangdong Province, China, even told the media that it would be embarrassing to have only one girlfriend. Men having many girlfriends is due to the huge gender imbalance in this city. The gender ratio is said to be 89 males to 100 females, leading men to have many girlfriends. Here even the girlfriends know about each other and they see this as very normal. People here also laugh at a guy who only has one girlfriend. Many men in this city do ordinary and menial jobs so women have to pay for everything. Another fact is that this city is known as the love capital of China with a bustling red light district. Red light activities in Dongguan operate openly, including brothel massage services, nightclubs, saunas, bars, karaoke, and about 120 hotels. It contributes 40 billion won annually, accounting for 10% of the city's total domestic income. Depending on the season, the red light industry fluctuates from 250,000 to 300,000 people. Number 5. Brazil. Paradise for men is Brazil, because this place is considered to have the most open-minded women in the world. Brazil is a country with many women and fewer men, characterized by a diverse mixed race. One-third of the population believes that prostitution is a normal job like any other. Brazil produces many famous beautiful women in the world, such as supermodels Giselle Bündchen, Alessandra Ambrosio, and Ana Beatriz Barros. Brazilian women are known for their hot, healthy bodies with sun-kissed skin and flowing blonde hair. Local women are very open-minded doing whatever makes them happy, wearing underwear is a restrained action so, basically, local women don't wear underwear when going out. The girls dress quite provocatively and freely. Not only that, but Brazilian women are also very enthusiastic, especially in greeting. If you're walking down the street asking for directions or catching someone's eye be ready to receive their warm greetings, first is a hug, then a kiss. This is how they greet. By the time you come to your senses this beauty may have already left, as this is how they express their freedom and comfort. Of course the concept of love is also very open-minded. If it feels right, stay, if not, break up. Even if you don't want to get married, it's okay. According to statistics, the average number of lovers for Brazilian women is about five, meaning a Brazilian woman has at least five boyfriends in her lifetime. They also believe that loving only once and then marrying is extremely unreasonable. However, the most difficult thing to understand is the treatment of guests by bathing together. Of course, this is all in a group bathing under the river or in a large bathhouse, but it's still very strange. If Brazilians entertain guests like this, don't you think? Number 4. Armenia. 
A country with many beautiful women I want to mention is Armenia, where there are also more women than men. Armenian women not only have beautiful faces but also possess curvaceous and sensual figures. A very famous figure here is Kim Kardashian. Although she lives in the United States she carries Armenian blood. Armenia has experienced the rule of the Soviet Union and wars with neighboring countries, leading to the disappearance of many men. However, the shortage of men in Armenia is largely due to the consequences of the Armenian genocide that occurred during and after World War I, while still under the rule of Turkey. Currently, recent economic instability has also forced Armenian men to leave in search of work. Therefore, women in this country are increasing. If you love any girl in this country, then be bold to confess your feelings right away, because she may also be lonely and lacking affection. Number 3. Moldova. Moldova is known as one of Europe's hidden gems when it comes to seeking beautiful, charming women. Here, the ratio of women is also higher than men, as the Soviet rule in history caused many men to go to war. The beautiful ladies in Moldova are often the product of mixed ethnicities, so Moldovan girls are usually elegant and beautiful. This place is dubbed the capital of beauty because this country is not famous for tourism. If you are a tourist you will easily date girls here because they will be curious about your culture and the reason you visit their country. However the courtship process will take some time, you can give flowers and go for a walk or have a meal with her. Number 2. Mexico. Mexico is also a country facing a situation where there are more women than men, so they tend to be much more open-minded. Although Mexico is a religious country, women seem very open-minded. Mexican women are also very beautiful and value appearance, often dressing nicely when dating. In this country, men and women often kiss each other on the cheek as a greeting and stand quite close when chatting. This country is very free and comfortable so you can meet any girl and date with an open mind. Number 1. New York, USA. Do you believe that there is a place in the world where women comfortably go topless, wearing only underwear when going out? Please comment below on what you think about this because, in New York, USA, women are extremely comfortable going out wearing only underwear. The state of New York allows women to go topless everywhere, not just on the beach. Therefore, whenever the weather permits, a large number of women will go topless and go out. However, they must wear underwear, otherwise the police will arrest them for indecent behavior. Among these women many go topless and play in Times Square, inviting tourists to take selfies with them to receive tips. More and more women go topless and dress provocatively to make money in New York's famous square by taking photos with men, women, and even children crossing the street for each photo. These women flaunting their bodies earn $10 to $20, much higher than those wearing costumes. Even in New York, there is also an International Topless Day on August 24th every year with the slogan, If men are allowed to go topless in public, women should have the same rights. If not, men should also wear bras to cover their chests. Each time this day occurs, many women from all over the world who go topless gather and march through the main streets of New York. Has anyone here been to New York and witnessed this scene yet? Please comment and let me know your thoughts. So. We have explored 15 places that are paradises for men because there are many women, and they are very open-minded. What do you think about the places I shared above? Have you visited any of these places? Remember to comment and share with me. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest videos. See you in the next video.